Hello! This is the Always Let's West of Loathing. Technically, I have enough money for a horse, but it would be extremely stupid for me to buy a horse when I have so few horse choices right now. And can presumably unlock other horse choices by uh, saving other horses. Such as the one in Thousand Snakes Gulch, which, as a snake oiler, is the logical place to go. I mean, I am a snake oiler. You'd think I would know how to, like, charm a snake a little bit. One of those rocks is really shiny. Hooray! I cactused myself. Ow. Snake looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. I have no option. Oh, I can walk away. Eh, yeah, let's attack a snake. Got the jump on him this time. I'm not gonna dynamite a snake. Shall I snake a snake? Let us deploy a snake. I haven't done that yet. I want to see what it does. Yeah! Snake versus snake battle! Except that he's gonna attack me, not the other snake. Man, why would I do the snake whip when deploying a snake is just clearly better? Because he's gonna stick with you, like, he's gonna attack on my side, won't he? Okay, but I can pistol attack now. Take that! Victory! I beat a snake! I collect one venom and one medicine! That's right, I am a snake oil salesman and my glamour increased. Uh, why does this say new? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Another snake? Well, I guess it's not called the one snake, uh, Gulch. Okay, he got the jump on me and poisoned me, but two can play at that at the snake game. Snakes versus snakes! Sticks to snakes! This is actually kind of a problem, but assuming I don't miss too much, should be just fine. Progress towards next skill up, four to ten, two venom and one medicine, neat. I made short work of that long snake, uh -huh. Venom level 6, medicine level 5. Okay, I don't really need either of those just yet, I assume. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll bet that if I extract some medicine then I could use that in battle to not die. Let's try doing that. Snake medicine, neat. And it only costs one, and I assume I can use that whenever I feel like it. That seems really helpful, actually. Potentially very, very helpful. The snake looks really angry. You're gonna need every trick in the book to beat this one. I'm not good at tricks. Ouch. Okay, let's deploy the snake. Take that, you jerk. Luckily, I have snake medicine, which looks like I may very well need. Uh, mm, let's try shooting this turn. This might be a bad idea. If he kills me, I'm not going to be happy. Hooey! I am at 2 HP. I do need to heal. Well, if I shoot him successfully, he'll die before the, the turn, before the, yeah. So I did win and didn't have to use my snake medicine. Collect two venom and two lem- uh, two lemons? Two medicine? My gumption is level two. Yep. Hey, I found a horse! This horse has gone snake crazy! Or maybe he has some other kind of crazy before. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? Nierg. That's cool, alright? Be cool. Don't freak out on me. Winnie. Look him in the eyes. You calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand-yard stare, and the other is revolving madly in its socket, like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little uh, now that it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders, though. You carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit, hyphen hyphen, okay, a lot, hyphen hyphen, but seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in that skull of his. That's a good boy. Erg. Feeding the oats. 
Are you hungry, boy? I've got a little treat for you. Snurf. You feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats, and it gallops away with a whinny. Or rather, a whinny or argle. Hopefully he's headed home and not into the 12th dimension. Specklad in chat says I haven't saved, but I don't know- I can't find a save option, if there is a save option. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I can- I can just go to the map. Is there a save option? I haven't seen- I assume it just auto-saves. I haven't seen anything that looks particularly save-like. I don't, I don't see a save. I don't, nothing, nothing here looks like a save to me. Oh, whoops, there was a shovel it option. What the? That, that, that. that says shiny rocky out there, stranger. I'll give you seven meat for that rock. No, I like this rock. I think I'll keep it. He shrugs. Suit yourself. Pete knows the nugget, nugget of silver you found earlier. I'll take that old silver nugget off your hand if you like. Give me 81 meat for it. No. No, I'm gonna hold on to this one. Well, as you please. Okay, Pete's a prospector. Wow, I get XP for shoveling crap. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but at least I'm clearing up the town a bit. Oh. Hmm, that's pointless. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there is a save option. I think I'm being trolled by viewers. Boring Springs Boneyard. Our founder is Zephaniah Boring, 1806 through 1885. That's a pretty good lifespan for that age. He was actually a really, really interesting guy. Another recovered mug. Benjamin Crockett, 1320 through 1364. He showed up way too early. <laughs> that was way too early. Way, way too early. Be Beauregard Skeleton, Captain, 3rd Cavalry, 1820 through 1866. Why would I dig up the grave? It's uh, it, it's a fight for no reason. Okay, let's do that. Got the jump on him this time, because I dug up a grave for no reason. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Focus on the snake instead of me, you idiots. He'll kill the snake, but... I am still his true enemy. I assume that I haven't just lost my snake or something. That would be unfortunate. Put a stop to Captain Skeleton's unnatural animation for no reason. Level up my grit. Got an old cavalry saber and a gold tooth. Sweet! And did I, I did not apply the old cavalry say, why? Okay, it doesn't do that automatic. I guess it does that automatically if I had nothing there before. Understood. Uh, okay, now it's on the ground, in the ground for a long time, in somebody's mouth for a short time, and now it's in my backpack. Great, what a strange thing to do. You seem to be having a hell of a time there. A scuffle it is. Deploy the snake! Always be snaking! Take that! So far, so easy! Mysticality level 2! That guy just wouldn't stay put! What with the murder? It's a ghost horse! Your pulse quickens as you get near the spooky translucent horse! You approach the weird, semi-transparent horse cautiously so as not to startle her, though you quickly come to the realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. Hello there. Hi, I'm a friend, okay? Nay! I'm the only horse with a normal horse voice. That's a little strange. How did you... how you did that without opening your mouth? Pat her on the nose. You pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Pat her on the nose again. Yup, still cold. That is one cold nose. Here you go, girl. Have some oats. You hold out a handful of oats for the horse, but she just sort of stares right through you. Ugh. Please don't look at me like that. Snort. Still cold. Try the oats again. The horse continues to ignore them. 
What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make oats spooky. I guess I could put some bone meal on them, but I don't have anything handy to grind up the bones with. Grave dirt? Honey! Is that a yes? Weird. Okay. Here! Here's some oats and grave dirt. You sprinkle the oats with just a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. Orth gazes expressionlessly at them, then eats them. Nay! And with that, she glides away in the direction of town. That it was bizarre. Timothy Cochran, 1855 through 1895. Devoted husband, okay. Elizabeth Cochran, 1887 through 1895. Ooh. Ah, so these are all the people who died in the cow incident. Silas, or some of the people. 1895 through 1895. A oh, baby. Nothing else to do here. Well, I recovered all of the horses because I am great like that. Let's get some more free money, though. Found these mugs! 75 meat. I assume there's nothing to do with these things other than sell them. Sell it. 7 meat. Sell it. 81 meat. Get all this stuff what I'm buying from you. You've been spending time underground, ain't you? Well, listen to old Pete's advice. You stay out of oral if you know what's good for you. There's stuff down the uh, on the 40th level that ain't worth messing with for a fellow who wants to keep his eyes if you catch my meeting. Not sure I do, but thanks. So, oral mine has some interesting stuff in it. But hey, guess who has enough to eat to eat to buy a horse and has recovered all of the horses? I don't know how you spotted that her hiding in that mine, but thanks for sending back my dark horse. Sure thing. Looks like my pale horse made it back safe. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Thanks for finding my crazy horse. Do you like puns? Do you like puns? He was eating loco weed again, wasn't he? Not that I noticed. That's all of them. I can't thank you enough. Here's a little extra for you. Thanks. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? I'd like to buy a horse. Sure thing. I should warn you though, hyphen hyphen. Horses get mighty attached to their riders, blah blah blah. It's either Dark Horse or Crazy Horse. Maybe chat has something to say about this. Hey chat! Which horse should I get? We've got two votes for Dark Horse and three votes for Crazy Horse. Couldn't really get much closer. Give me the run to the crazy eyes! Give me the one with the crazy eyes. Okay, I gotta warn you, that horse has seen some sh some stuff. But I'll sell him for a thousand meat. Is something wrong with him? No, not as such. He's perfectly functional. But... Well, he's always sneaking off to Thousand Snakes Gulch to chew on the loco weed that grows there. That makes him see crazy things? I think it's more like he does it to forget about it, the crazy thing he sees all the time anyway. Color me intrigued, I'll take him. Here's the keys to your horse, ride safe. Hey! Give him a name, Jahorse. Sure you want to name your horse Jahorse? Of course I am. All right then, Jahorse the horse. It's nice, it's got a nice ring to it. It absolutely does. <laughs> okay. Free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. Southeast West, Southeast West map. Thanks. <laughs> it's your new horse Jahorse who makes interesting sounds. Not gonna ride him out of town just yet, because I'm not 100% sure that I am out of things to do in town. Uh... I have a horse now, will you talk to me? Oh my god, we found all the other graves! Oh my- oh, ooh. Are you Susie Cochran? How- how did you know my last name? I saw the graves in the cemetery. I'm sorry for your loss. Susie scowls bitterly and mutters into her whiskey. I saw it happen. Saw the whole damn thing and couldn't do nothing about it. The bartender said it was cows? Cows, right. I didn't know what those things are, but they ain't cows. Not anymore. What happened? It was a raid to see. Ma and Pa used to ranch cattle back before... Well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead. She left me the place when she passed. Go on. Well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out that it used to be a cow ranch and they attacked. A couple days ago. Happened so fast, I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of the gun safe. Cows smashed in the front door and a fire started out back the, by the root cellar. House went up in blazes, just like that. 
What did you do? I... there wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because of the fire, and I saw Tim trampled right in front of me. I just... She drains her glass. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Sorry. She refills her mug from a bottle on the bar and doesn't reply. What'll you do now? Head west, I suppose. Nothing keeping me here and no desire to stay. I can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? It was Ma's rifle. It's all I got left of... of anybody. Where is it? Left it at the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Yeah, I'll go get it. I'll take it for myself, though. Susie shows you on the map where her ranch is. The Cochran Ranch. Take your leave. So, we've got some stuff to deal with in the mine, some stuff to deal with on the ranch for next time. Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, tell me what you like best on this or any other video on my channel to help me make compilations. Cheers! From Yaw Weasel.